Short-term readmissions after hospitalizations for heart failure, heart attacks, and pneumonia are very common. They're extremely uh, costly and a source of preventable hospital expenditures. Uh, as a result of the high costs associated with those and the challenges that those readmissions present to patients, as part of the Affordable Care Act, there was an implementation of something called the Hospital Readmissions Reduction Program. That program created financial penalties uh, for hospitals that had excess readmission rates for those three conditions. Our goal here was to study whether or not the passage of the Affordable Care Act and the threat and ultimate implementation of financial penalties in fact incentivize hospitals to lower their readmission rates. And in particular, we wanted to observe whether or not hospitals that were penalized the most the poorest performing hospitals actually then subsequently went on to improve the most. And this study really required a multidisciplinary collaboration and just because of the amount of data that we needed to analyze the complexity of the data. So we looked at over 15 million uh, Medicare patients and they were admitted in over 2,800 hospitals. And these 2,800 hospitals were divided into four groups, which included the hospital from, from the hospital that they were the worst performing hospital, which were the most penalized, to the lowest, to, 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 to the best performing hospital, they were the hospital that were penalized the last. And we developed rigorous statistical methods to analyze this enormous amount of data and really to provide evidence as whether the worst performing hospital were the one that were improving the most after the passage of the law. And in fact, we were able to provide strong evidence toward this hypothesis. We found, um, after analyzing this enormous amount of data and really bringing to bear the most rigorous me methodology, that again, the worst performing hospital had a 25% reduction in rehospitalization after the passage of, of, the, of the law, and their improvement were was, was a statistical significant better than the hospital that were best performing, and so they were not uh, penalized. Yeah, and this study results, I think, you know, we think have, have profound implications. Traditionally, the way that hospitals are reimbursed are they are re reimbursed for how much they do as opposed to how well they do. Uh, the Affordable Care Act really tried to move uh, us in the direction of reimbursing hospitals for how well we do, incentivizing better quality of care uh, through financial incentives. Um, it could have gone either way. Hospitals that, that are poor performing uh, may be under-resourced, and so financial penalties may actually exacerbate uh, the quality of care that they deliver. But that's not what we found here. What we found here is that the higher the penalty received, the greater the financial incentive, and the greater response that hospitals had to this, lowering their readmission rates dramatically. I think it speaks to the overall effectiveness of introducing financial incentives uh, into in reimbursement of hospitals to incentivize better quality of care.